share with a musician friend, if you only had 30 seconds, what advice or wisdom would you pass on to them as a result of what you learned through this process? Okay, earthquakes, little or otherwise. Um, I think to have the courage to be exactly who you are so that people can see themselves in you trying to be honest and um, realizing that things probably don't actually matter as much as you think they do. And you'll uh, probably fall into a trap of having so much expectation of the world and just actually letting go is really, it's just a brilliant process. And sort of losing some of that self-consciousness through it? Yeah, that self-referential thing that like cripples people. Mm -hmm. um, and l learning, yeah, just l learning to let it go and and enjoy the process of doing that. Well, this tonight counts as one of the sessions, I think. And the word no, meaning next opportunity, is so good. So, yeah, come oh, on, next you opportunity. Give it, give it <laughs> um, no, I won't no. do that again. <laughs> uh, but I ca literally, that's all you need to hear because, like, reject. Like you say, musicians, you're going to get rejected. It's a taste. It's a matter of taste. So there's going to be p people that like it, people that don't, management that like it, people that want to work with you, people that don't. But you've got to look to the next opportunity and do not get down by rejection. Take every opportunity that comes. And but essentially, uh, echoing what Charlie said, do what you love. Stay true to yourself. Do it, do something that's very very pure to you and as meaningful to you. And if you start making money as a byproduct of that, then that's that's great. But I I I wouldn't personally now do it to make money. I would be doing what I love. And if money comes, wonderful.